Astronomers at the Center for Astrophysics, Harvard and Smithsonian CFA, found a Schrodinger's Galaxy candidate, a few days after the National Aeronautics and Space Administration's NASA's James Webb Space Telescope released its photos to the public. The galaxy is known as Glass Z13, and only lately, CERS 1749, another possibility for a far-off galaxy, was published on paper based on the James Webb Space Telescope's early release research programs. A highly bright galaxy that would have been there more than 200 million years after the Big Bang appears to be the CERS 1749. If verified, this may change how we think about the universe. The NASA telescope also contains several filters that look at various infrared wavelengths. It is feasible to view through the wavelengths as you would through a picture book while studying a galaxy like Schrodinger's. The red wavelengths on the first few pages will be less pronounced, and you won't even see them in some situations. The ghost of a galaxy only appears as you turn through and the wavelengths get redder. Higher values of the Z parameter, which represent redshift, indicate a further off object. For starters, the GNZ11, which has a Z value of 11.09, is one of the proven furthest galaxies. According to the Schrodinger team, it could have a Z value of about 17, placing the light's age at more than 13 billion years in the past. This could also require us to reconsider galaxy models and their development in the early cosmos. For this reason, the team argues that there may be strong environmental evidence suggesting the object's Z value is likely to be around 5, which would indicate that its light is around 12 years old. According to this theory, Schrodinger may even be a satellite galaxy of one of its larger companions.